Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the Glory and Praise, which is the larger book, number 676. 676, lift up your hearts. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. Praise God's gracious mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord, whose love is enduring. Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Praise the name above all names. Say to God how wondrous your works, how glorious your name. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. Praise God's gracious mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord, whose love is enduring. Let the earth worship singing your praise. Praise the glory of your name. Come and see what God has revealed. Bless God's holy name. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. Praise God's gracious mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord, whose love is enduring. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Irene Lang and Father Alexander Nemeth. For the times we failed to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from from the first book of Kings. When Elijah reached Horeb, the mount of God, he came to a cave and spent the night there. Then the word of the Lord came to him. He said, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Now there was a great wind, so strong that it was splitting mountains and breaking rocks in pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind, and the Lord, and after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake, and after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire, and after the fire, a sound of sheer silence. When Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. Then there came a voice to him that said, What are you doing here, Elijah? He answered, I have been very zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts, for the Israelites have forsaken your covenant, thrown down your altars, killed your prophets with the sword. I alone am left, and they are seeking my life to take it away. Then the Lord said to him, Go, return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus. When you arrive, you shall anoint Hazael as king over Aram and you shall anoint Jehu, son of Nimshi, as king over Israel. And you shall anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat, of abel as prophet in your place. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Our response is, I long to see your face, O Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. Hear, O God, or hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud, be gracious to me and answer me. Come, my heart says, seek his face. I long to see your face, O Lord. Your face, Lord, do I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. I long to see your face, O Lord. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. And let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Shine on the world like bright stars. You are offering it the word of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to go to hell. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you, that anyone who divorces his wife, except on the ground of unchastity, causes her to commit adultery, and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Jesus continues to teach us about morality and the importance of doing anything but sinning. Sometimes people say about the Catholic Church, why is the Catholic Church obsessed with sin? It's because God is obsessed with removing sin. So we must be obsessed with making sure that we don't fall into traps of sin. And Jesus uses vulgar language here in the sense of you know, plucking out eyes and cutting off hands. Of course, he doesn't mean that literally, but what he is saying is be very, very, very careful that you do not sin. Under no circumstance does God ever give us permission to sin. And so as a result, especially today being Friday, as we reflect upon the mercy and love of God as he offered his life on the cross for us, let us seek ways to remove sin in our life so that we may grow in holiness and improve our relationship with God. Trusting that God is present even when we struggle to see him in our lives, let us turn to him with confidence to offer to him our prayers. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For all leaders of the Church, may the Holy Spirit continue to provide them an ever-increasing clarity of vision and attentiveness to his ways, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in positions of public authority, May Christ be their guide in their efforts to protect the dignity and sanctity of all life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from loneliness or estrangement from family, may the Lord hold them close and bring them comfort, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community of faith here at St. Joseph, may the joy of the gospel be our source of light and life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Irene and Father Alexander, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they feast with the angels and saints in the presence of God our Father, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts,
Almighty and eternal God, our salvation alone comes from you. Hear the prayers we offer you this day and answer them according to your most holy will. We make these in all prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Irene and Father Alexander, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil, Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and ever cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. Praise God's gracious mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord whose love is enduring. God's right hand made a path through the night, split the waters of the sea. All creation, lift up your voice. Our God set us free. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. Praise God's gracious mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord, whose love is enduring. Listen now, all you servants of God, as I tell of these great works. Blessed be the Lord of my life whose love shall endure. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. Praise God's gracious mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord, whose love is enduring. God bless you. Have a good day.